Moss Mother here, welcome to the Hour of the Beast. I just wanted to make a quick video on people being super mean, or just regular mean, or a little bit mean. We get that a lot in real life, and we get that a lot on the social media. And I just wanted to say my two cents about that, two cents, two pence, tuppence, I don't know. Anyway, so this is how I feel about people being mean. And I think everybody has had, but a lot of people have had some mean comments. To start with, it's perception. For example, when I made the short of the pallet driver, I did not mean any offence by it. I mean, zero offence at all. And I offended pretty much every truck driver in the whole wide world, or at least the country. Great for getting a video to go viral, but I had a massive backlash, so I must have had about 500 comments. Not all of them were malicious and angry and, and cruel, but there a lot of them were pretty, pretty hardcore, and there was a lot of angry people. When we get these comments back, what's actually going on? But to start with, everybody's running their own narrative. All of us have our own story about who we are, our life, how we feel, what's right and wrong. And we play into the drama of that. There's a large percentage of people who will see something come up there. There was no swearing going on between me and the pallet driver. Some people said I shamed him. I certainly didn't mean to shame him. I was just practicing making shorts and he was supposed to drive in the property and deliver to one of the workshops. It was neither here nor there. We've had multiple run-ins with pallet drivers. Never any disrespect or shouting, whatever. It seemed maybe like I was shouting because I was having to uh, communicate with him from the window upstairs. So I was probably a bit loud. I didn't mean to come across disrespectfully to him, but a lot of people felt I did, and I accept that. I accept that. I said, no, you know what? I came across like a Karen, and they told me. They told me, they said, you are a Karen. And some of them got really nasty. I had a lot of comments where people said, look, look, love, you know, it's curbside only, and they're spot on right. I can't argue with that. There was a lot of comments where the men that got back to me were really respectful. And I said, look, I don't think you understand. This is the way it is. It's curbside only. To put me straight, put me right on it. OK, I completely understand. And then there were there were beautiful comments within the comments. You know, the comments kind of threaded off from each other where you'd have an argument between two or three people that had nothing to do with me, where somebody was saying it's curbside only. And then someone else was correcting them and said, no, curbside in the UK is but with a K. And it went on like that. It's actually quite amusing some of the time. There were people that even said that's the politest argument I've ever heard because they didn't even feel it was that offensive. And other people, they just destroyed me. But what really amazed me is people were repurposing my video. I was literally a complete beginner. I'd never done this before. And I was getting my video repurposed. So there's a guy, he had my video up here in the, in the corner and he was watching my video whilst he was looking at the screen, listening, nodding his head like this and then shaking his head like this, like this. And after it had finished, he was, she this and she that and blah, 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 blah. And hang on a minute. So you hang, I, I don't get it. You watch the video, you take the video, you put all your energy into this. You don't like me. You don't like the way I've come across and you're repurposing the video and commenting on it and getting all upset about it, getting all upset about it. Please don't tell me you're angry with me or you're upset with me. You're, you're making money from this. You're doing exactly what I was doing. You're now taking my video, repurposing it and making money from it. And, you know, pretending to be on the side of the pallet driver and pretending to hate me because it fits your narrative, it fits your story and it's going to put money in your pocket. And I say, good for you. He wasn't really rude or disrespectful to me. He wasn't particularly nice. It was okay, and then people get a little bit carried away, don't they? And there was a few little insults that got thrown in there. And I thought to myself, well, don't criticise me for coming across in a certain manner if you're now going to call me a, a cow or a bitch or, you know, all sorts of different things. And I've been called everything. You know, I sound like a man because I have a deep voice. I've had people find me because this was not on Mars Mother. They found me and they've just left a comment to say, oh, your face matches your voice. When's your operation due? So I've had other people, I think a guy from Cuba or somewhere who messaged me personally and was, you know, you effing this, that and the other. It was, it was disgusting, really, really bad. Um, for what reason? The anger and the hate. Been called a bitch multiple times, called a Karen multiple times. Some people have decided that 
I should become famous as a Karen. So I had a little bit of look into what a Karen was and the original Karen, apparently from the research I've done, was a white American woman who was racist towards a dark skinned gentleman. So while I'm neither technically white, I don't use the expressions black and white, I don't look at myself as white, I'm not American, I'm not technically white as far as I'm concerned, and certainly I'm not racist. So, you know, but that's what they want to do. They want to call me a Karen because it's all the drama and that's, you know, I, I feel really sorry for anybody called Karen, really. And there's got to be a lot of nice Karens out there. Maybe that will become a thing one day when you're not allowed to call people Karens because it's offensive to all the people called Karen. So how do I deal with it? Well, the positive comments I'm just so grateful for and I always try to get back to every single person who comments because you know what? We're all equal. We're all as important as each other regardless of how we feel. The negative comments, some of them just make me laugh. Like one person watched my pool video and then messaged me, your pool looks like shit. He didn't even put the sentence into correct grammar. It was a bit strange. So I had a little look on his YouTube page and he had a lot of Sam Smith's work there. And in one of the videos, in one of his main songs he had a hit from, there was this really manky old swimming pool in it. So I just commented back, well, it's better than the one in Sam Smith's song, whatever that song was, I can't remember. I've actually got the song. I had a lot more horrible comments than that, but I, I used the comments to my favor. So when the truckers and the trolls hit me, I just wrote a song called Truckers and Trolls. I haven't obviously been working on it for the last few days because of all of this, but I love that song and I will just express myself and all of the things that have been said to me in that song. And no, I'm not against the truckers. Am I against the trolls? They're neither here nor there. I don't understand why people deliberately go online just to be mean to people. It doesn't make any sense to me. If I saw a video I didn't want to watch, and I watched it anyway just because I got hooked in the moment. I don't know why you get hooked into watching a video you don't want to watch, but let's just say I watched it, it was a short, and I watched a bit of it, and I thought, oh, this is utter rubbish, or I don't like this. I don't know what I'd think in my mind, probably like, oh, why am I watching this? I wouldn't, com I wouldn't leave a comment for somebody, but there are people in the world who deliberately want to go and hurt, try and hurt other people. I've been bullied since I was a kid, I don't care. I literally don't care. Bring it on. I responded to every one of the 500 comments I got from my little short and it didn't bother me in the slightest. It was a little bit of a shock just to start with that I'd upset so many truckers, but then I realized, oh, it's just a game. They're all enjoying it. They're nearly all men. A couple of women always join in, you know, but they're nearly all men and they're loving it. The men now in this country, and I'm glad about it. They're getting more emotional. They're getting more fired up. And I'm glad that men are expressing their emotions and I'm glad there's a thing called mansplaining and it's not just women that talk a lot now. I'm glad men are getting in touch with their inner selves and that I am genuinely, I'm not being sarcastic, I'm genuinely happy about that. And that's what needs to happen. Good for the men that are expressing themselves and I welcome all the comments, good and bad. I can't handle everything in life, but the trolls and the trappers and the strange comments and the beautiful comments, I can handle them all. And I know which ones that I will truly embrace in my life. And I know where I'll put all the gratitude. And that is a place where my gratitude will go. So from me, Hour of the Beast, until the next time.